you're gonna approach, approach this girl smell like straight bum, right? What makes you think that this is gonna help you? What makes you think that this is what's gonna get, go, gonna help her to choose you, right? What makes you think that this is gonna make this girl look at you and be like, oh, I, I wanna go with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wanna go with him. I want him to be my next boyfriend. I want him to go down on me tonight. Wait, you smell like straight bum. What makes you think that? YouTube gang, what's going on with y'all, man? What's popping with it? It's your boy. It's your homie. It's your brother. It's y'all. Let's go, let's go, let's go, man. Let's go. Welcome back to another video, guys. And today, I'm here to talk to you about the three things that you're doing that is turning all women off. Stop doing these things. Okay, I already know all the, all the guys are going to skip over these videos. I already know that every guy is going to skip over this video because I'm not talking about the things that you can do to turn women on. I'm talking about the things that they're fucking up at. Guys don't like to hear about the things that they're fucking up at, right? And this is why the, their game is going to stay weak because they want, they're going to keep fucking up. They're going to keep doing these things. They're going to keep turning women off and they're not even going to realize it. Okay, so... So... You know, I had to check my mic there, make sure my shit is on and it's working, all right? But understand, guys, it's important to remember that women are like every individual, right? What might be very unattractive to them might be attractive to another, okay? But in this video, we're going to talk about some general things that turn majority, like 90 to 80, 90 to 100 percent of women off these things, right? These are the very obvious ones, okay? And some of y'all might be doing these and y'all don't even realize it. So, it's, um, so I want to give y'all a pat on the back. All right, give yourself a pat on the back for clicking on this video, for bettering yourself and getting on to some self-improvement. All right, like the video, comment, subscribe, and let's get straight to this shit, man. All right, the first thing that you're doing that's turning all women off is being insecure. Okay, guys, being insecure is the reason why your relationship will probably fall apart. Okay, being insecure is the reason why your, your relationship will probably fall apart. And that is because... Insecure shows a lack of confidence, self-doubt, right, neediness, you know what I'm saying? And it creates an imbalance in the relationship, okay? Being confident is attractive because it creates this sense of stability, right? The sense of stability and that, um, what can I, how can I say, uh, consistency, you know what I'm saying? Being consistently confident, right? Women are drawn to that uh, confidence is because... It shows a sense of stability, right? It shows a sense that, oh, you got their back. You know what's going on. They can trust you. They can leave everything into your hand and you got this shit, right? That's how women want to feel, right? Women are looking to feel secure, right? They're looking for a man that's going to make them feel secure. When you're insecure, how is she supposed to come to you for that security? How is she supposed to come to you, you know, for that leadership? right for that masculine energy how is she supposed to come to you for it when you're already acting like her right you have to remain confident guys being insecure turn all women off right because they're already insecure they don't want to have to deal with a guy who they find is insecure because they're looking in the mirror it's like i'm basically dating myself right that's basically what they're looking at it like women know they ain't shit women know they ain't shit so when you acting like that they're like oh he ain't shit I can do better. I can find a guy that's better. I can find a guy that's stronger and a lot more masculine than he is, right? That's what they're thinking of it, like, okay, guys, you need to remain secure, right? You cannot show lack of insecure. You can't, you can't, I'm sorry. You cannot show any insecurity in your relationship. You can't, right? It's okay to open up a little bit. It's okay to, you know, have emotions or whatever it is but it's not okay to be emotional it's not okay to be insecure about things right and now when y'all get into arguments if she knows you're insecure and you, she knows your weaknesses when y'all get into arguments what do you think she's gonna bring up to attack you what do you think she's gonna use to to attack you your insecurities okay stop showing women that you're insecure all right next the next thing you y'all are doing that is turning all women off is smelling like poop okay or having bad breath all right guys so you mean to tell me that we got guys out here that are complimenting complimenting women left to right giving them all the attention in the world validating and stroking their ego 
okay? And you're over here smelling like straight bumble clap. Right? We got all these all these dudes out here putting these girls, their ego on up on cloud nine, making them feel like the queen of the world, right? And you over here, you're gonna approach, approach this girl smell like straight bum, right? What makes you think that this is gonna help you? What makes you think that this is what's gonna get, gonna help her to choose you? Right? What makes you think that this is gonna make this girl look at you and be like, oh, I, I wanna go out with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, I wanna go with him. I want him to be my next boyfriend. I want him to go down on me tonight. Wait, you smell like straight bum. What makes you think that? Come on, man. Right? Guys, have, smelling bad is one of the biggest attraction killers. Okay? You're smelling bad is one of the worst things that you can do. Okay? Stop this. All right, guys? You guys need to start smelling better. Buy deodorant. Okay? B buy fucking cologne. You don't need fucking cologne and deodorant. Just take a fucking shower. Right? Just take a shower. Okay? That's like, I don't know one human that doesn't think smelling bad is one of their pet peeves. I don't know one human that doesn't think so. Even you yourself can't deal with somebody who beside you smells bad, right? So how are you gonna sit up here and tell me that you're out here hollering at chicks, going approaching different women, and you smell like shit? And you think that you're gonna, she's gonna choose you like this? Come on, man. Come on, y'all need to pick it up. Y'all need to start doing better than this. All right, I know us boys over here on Mighty Boy side, we're smelling good. Showering twice a day, brushing our teeth twice a day, putting deodorant on, all right? All this right here is part of self-improving, guys. You'll need to self-improve, okay? Stop smelling like shit. Women don't like this. This turns all women off, okay? Moving on. The next thing that guys do that turn pretty much all women off is having low confidence and low self-esteem, right? And being lazy, okay? Women are very turned off by guys that are very lazy and have low self-esteem, okay, guys? Y'all need to stop being lazy, okay? Guys, women want to depend on you, right? Women want a man that they think is strong, masculine, that they can depend on, okay? And they want to trust and believe that you can take her and the relationship from point A to point B in and outside of the bedroom, okay? She wants to believe that you can, you can do these things. You can make this shit happen. You can give her the experience that she's looking for, right? And if you have a low, low confidence and low self-esteem, right, and you're lazy, right, she's not gonna look at you as a go-getter. She doesn't see you as a go-getter anymore. She doesn't see you as a guy that's gonna get up and go get it and go after it. She does not see you as that guy right and when she does not see us that guy she finds it hard to believe in you she finds it hard to you know think and believe that you're you're gonna be able to make shit happen for the, for the two of y'all okay all right you being lazy and coming up with a hundred excuses towards why you can't make things happen is only gonna bring her attraction lower and lower and lower okay and she's gonna be out here looking for the next guy that's gonna make things happen that's gonna be willing to give her that experience and that fun time that she's looking for girls want to have fun right and they want to leave it up to you to make the fun happen right women are not leaders guys women are not leaders right part of your your role as, as being the masculine man is understanding the fact that you're a leader and it's up to you to make this thing happen, that thing happen, and this thing happen. It's all up to you, okay? Never leave the decisions up to the women. Women don't wanna make decisions. Women don't wanna sit here and be held accountable to make things happen, to make things fun, to make experiences happen. No, they don't want that. Right? This is why women are drawn to masculine alpha male so much. This is exactly why. Because the alpha male's leading. The alpha male's making things happen. The alpha male knows and he believes in what he's about. Beta males don't. Beta males don't know and believe in what they're about. So they leave all that up to the women. Okay? So guys, these are the things that y'all are doing that are turning all women off. Right? Being insecure, smelling like bum, and being lazy okay these three things are turning all women off stop doing them okay if you want to be more attractive to women you must stop doing this all right give yourself a pat on the back for clicking on this video and watching 
uh, self-improvement, learning self-improvement so you can better yourself. Okay, right? Because this is literally, I think this is more important than the, oh, do this to get the ass, then the, right? All this shit is way more important. Okay, so with all that being said, man, like the video, drop a comment of something you agree with or disagree with or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hit up your boy on Instagram. And uh, yeah, man, it's been your boy. I'm gonna holla at y'all later, man. Peace.